Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, my name is Marco and today we are continuing Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Golden Wind episodes 19, 20 and 21. I hope everyone is doing okay, I'm very excited for this because last time we left off with uh, Giorno and Mista going to the water, to the canal with Car and that guy who is using stand White Album was following them and we are going to continue our fight against him because he is not defeated. Although Giorno and Mista work together quite well and thanks to Giorno's golden experience we were able to uh, kinda put some distance between us and him but thanks to his uh, ice skates man he was able to catch up in no time. So yeah basically we are on our way to Venezia to get to that statue I think for some CD or something like that and Venezia is basically our end goal that boss tasked us to come here. Before that we saw of course uh, uh, Bruno Bucciarati and how badass he was during that fight against Pesci. Pesci was like a complete different person but he got Ari Ari Arrivederci. <laughs> it was honestly one of my favorite barrages, man. I didn't expect that. And with that song, it's just so good. And yeah, the episode with freaking Melone and Babyface. Those are probably one of my least favorite episodes in all of JoJo's, man. And they are not that bad, to be honest. I don't know. The vibes were just kinda different, I don't know how to put it. I, I'm not saying that I didn't enjoy it, I enjoyed it but I don't know man, it felt kinda odd, but part 5 is most definitely going to be one of my favorite parts for sure, everything about part 5 was perfect, so it's, it's not big of a deal man. I feel like every part has at least one of those episodes that is not entirely satisfying but you cannot expect that from show that has so many episodes i rarely criticize things i don't want to say uh, that it's completely bad or trash it wasn't it was only in my head that it was kind of meh and that araki can do much better anyway yeah i am excited for next episode so without further ado let's jump into episode number 19 let's go guys all right let's begin episode 19 here we go. Yep, they jumped into the water. Where's the guy? <laughs> oh my god. Jono is pummeling him, bro. Oh, oh! But you should try to kill this guy first, maybe. Oh, what the fuck? It's literally there. There is the statue. Oh, he can freeze the water, man. <laughs> oh, Mister is thinking exactly like me. Oh, oh my god, it's his skin. And he already lost a pinky. Ah, that must hurt like hell, bro. Jumbo is getting completely frozen. What the fuck is going on? Bro, look at his dumb expression. White album, yep. <laughs> fuck that shit. Oh my god, he's not playing, man. Yeah, it's too cold. Oh? What the fuck is Mr. planning to do? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> he literally made a snowboard. <laughs> Mr. you crazy fucker. That was so brilliant. But it was a good idea. Ah, he wasn't able to reach the statue. 
Oh, he's so fast underwater. Oh my god, this guy. Come on. The jungle is no longer frozen. Oh, what the fuck? What the hell just happened? <laughs> oh, that is so fucking wild. Oh my god, bro! Holy shit, he's pushing it further. It was just like similar how he defeated Kraftwerk. <laughs> That's funny. Damn, we have to destroy such a beautiful statue. Gotta do it though. Definitely. Ooh, I like this OST. Mista is fucking goat, man. Oh wow! Damn! He's not done for sure. Okay. Oh, he's hiding it. What? He killed fish. What is Mr. doing, bro? Oh, so he can look down. Nice. Oh my god, bro. And he literally got shot, right? Oh jeez. Even bullets. Oh fuck! It's ricocheting. Jesus Christ, man. Gentle whips. This is too much, bro. He's like ultimate counter for Mr. Stan. Come on, man. Come on. He got shot, bro. And he's missing a finger. Oh, he's searching for the disc. He doesn't know the exact location. There it is, there is the fucking disc. This is getting interesting. Okay, Jorno. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like that. Come on, boys. So, power A, speed C, range C, durability A, precision and growth potential E. White album Gyako or Gyakyo. Gyako. He is really, really tough to deal with. His stand is uh, very, very strong, man. The ability itself to create ice is problematic, but he has this armor, I guess, made of ice as well. It looks cool, and the only hole he has is on the back, bro, and it's only when he's looking down uh, for airflow, and missed a vent for that, and even that wasn't enough, man. Like, this guy is a trouble, man. He found the disc. This is uh, disc is now in his possession. But I really liked Giorno's little speech talking about resolve and their readiness to sacrifice themselves for the sake of the mission. And I really hope that Giorno and Mista will both survive this encounter and that they will defeat this guy. So let's continue. <laughs> It's resolved. Yep. True. Yeah, 
ぞこれでボスの正体を暴きに行けるぜそして残るはドリッシュだ What is going on? What the fuck are you doing, Jorno? Ah, he's messing up his arm! Bro! <laughs> But how will that help, bro? Guido Mista. 17歳の時に殺人罪で逮捕され yeah, this is when he saved that woman. 裁判年の判決を宣告された15 to 30 years in prison 着王だ So this is like Oh it's Bruno yep This is like the extension of this Backstory, and I'm so worried, bro. Correct. Correct as well. <laughs> Excellent restaurant, eh? I like how he brings everyone to the restaurant. It's very iconic. Yeah, Mr. enjoys his lunch, man. そうだなあいつらの分俺も付き合おうおそうかしこまりましたミスター was the last one to join オーケーだ I mean if we don't count ジョルノだからオーケーだおおナイスドルチェもおごってくれこの店にイチゴのケーキはあるかいスターブレッキーケーキやりやいやつだなそれ定まった運命があるものだとミスターは学んだ人は若い頃足踏みをしたのだということをあっ Let's go, let's go, man. Yeah, thanks to Jorno. What the fuck? He's reflecting it to him. Straight to the hole, baby. It's still not fucking enough. So? Oh, it's actually close! I don't need a breathing hole! Oh my god, bro! This fucking guy! Jesus! So many holes, bro! On his face as well! Oh my god! Wait! Don't tell me that this was intended! Mister, you fucking savage! <laughs> What the fuck? He can't see a little bit. In the hole! Oh my god! It's piercing him! Jesus! <laughs> come on, come on, my man! At <laughs> the pose! <laughs> Oh, where do you think you're going? <laughs> What the fuck am I watching right now? This guy is so crazy. He's <laughs> still going. Oh my god, mister! You crazy fucker! Bro, is he going to be okay? Oh my god, he's done, bro. He's still alive? No! No, shot, bro! He froze the blood! There is one more! No, you did not! Oh! Oh, that was a gold experience sound! <laughs> Yo, look at this, bro! Oh my god, this is Mr. Okay, though! Let's go, Jono! Oh my god, I like them so much. What the fuck you do? Oh, here comes Muda Muda. Oh, that was one of the most brutal deaths so far, guys. Holy 
Shit, what a conclusion to this crazy fight, bro. That was amazing. That's Jorno for you. Yeah, he kinda motivated him. That was nice. That was really nice. Wow. I am confused about Jorno's ability. Since the fight with... He demands him to heal him. From the fight, uh, since the fight with baby face, Jorno learned something new about his ability, so... There you go, okay, thank you. It recreates part of body which is a living thing, which makes sense, okay. Alright. But he's going to make the bodies inside of him with life and plug up your arteries <laughs> okay that is so cool okay i'm glad that he is alive bro i was legit scared <laughs> hey man if it's cursed it hurts wow they're in the turtle freaking turtle man there they are. Oh my god, this <laughs> looks weird. <laughs> oh my god. Naranja's <laughs> face, bro. Oh my god, this is. <laughs> He's pretending not to see them, bro. Oh my god. It does look like Jorno is blowing Mista, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh shit. What do we have here? So many dead bodies, bro. Oh. Damn risotto. Risotto's whereabouts are unknown. Currently surging airports, train stations, and the area surrounding Naples. Wow. That's the guy who looks super cool, right? From the traitors of organization. It's boss, bro. Oh, look at the roses. Wow, man. Episode 20. Final order from the boss. Final order. Five minutes. Okay. What was on the disc? Did they check or... Okay, here we go. Bottom of my heart, I thank you for protecting my daughter. Okay. Mission contained on this disk was transferred to the moment you boarded the train in Naples. They are? Thankfully, nobody. Damn. He is extra careful, man. もし誰かが指令と違った行動を取ったのなら、たとえそれが偶然の事故であるおい、oh so まあ、かろうじてだったかな。いや、ミスターケース。スクリーニングパスタ。あと、ジブリアーニ。じゃねえ。いや。今はまだ終わり。yeah, I thought that Bruno would be the one. So Giorno will not go. 
It might be a good opportunity right now. Insects of sun, symbols of life. Oh, that's smart. That's smart. They will know where Bucherati is. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, fucking yeah, Fugo. Yeah, so we didn't get to see Grisha stand, man. Wow, but talk about creepy, man. Oh, look at the interior. Holy. That's a big church. Risotto's missing. Yeah. Imagine Risotto being on the top of the tower. That would be a fucking plot twist. But then again, Boss left that room that he was in. So I'm not sure what is going on. Oh. Damn, I feel her, man. Look at how she's trembling. She was trying to put a tough act until now. Change of identity. Oh my god. Oh, she will feel bad to leave their side. She got used to them. And you have every right to be nervous. Oh, 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 oh. holy shit, man. No family ever worries about that. She's a child, man. Where is she? Where is she? Where is Trish? Is that her arm? What on earth is going on, bro? There is a big ass hole in the elevator. It's fucking risotto. Oh no. Oh no, is that really the case? Oh my god, bro, if the boss really wants to kill Trish, that would be so fucking messed up, man. Bro, and knowing Bruno and the guys, would they just let that happen? Oh my god, I was not prepared for an episode like this. This is about to go nuts. Okay, so these are orders that boss set up for this final operation bro and the way she was trembling she was trying to put a tough act all the time like she isn't bothered by her, by anything and when we met her she seemed like a spoiled brat asking for Givenchy stockings and the, uh, special mineral water and all that crazy shit and now I feel very bad for her. She grew on me and she clearly uh, likes to be around Bruno and I guess she's trying to find some comfort in Bruno but what he said that she will have to do a surgery, change identity, get a new place and a whole new identity, it seems like, yeah, yeah, it seems like that's not happening. 
So Bruno said that there is a chance that he wanted to personally get rid of his daughter, which is so fucking sick, but not far-fetched at all. And what is up with this, bro? Her hand is chopped off, bro. Did Is, is this like Hira Yoshikage resurrected or something? What the fuck? Let's go, guys. Bruno Bucciarati wa... Bruno's backstory, finally! Oh, that's his father. <laughs> Look at little Bruno, bro. He was still rocking the same hairstyle. It seems like he had a really good family. But. <gasps> Oh my god. Yeah, bro. That really sucks, man. My parents are divorced as well. No, they're going to stay together. And they decided to let him choose. Wow. Oh my god. Oh, even his dad was shocked. Damn. But he can say, can say the same for father. Oh my god. He was thinking about others, like that, bro, as a seven-year-old. Bruno is fucking amazing. Wow! So once a year... Oh, oh look at his drip! <laughs> he was wearing something like that from young age. Nice! That's a really cool way to earn extra cash. Come on! Bro, you could tell by their character designs. Why though? What a shitty life, man. Oh my god! No wonder why he hates drugs so bad. Holy shit, because he saw those fuckers. Oh, I'm pissed as well. He, he survived. Oh shit, bro, don't tell me he had to live like a plant like that. They came back. Oh, oh it's Bruno. Oh my god. Yeah, he's a fucking kid. Oh my god, Bruno. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what the fuck did he had to go through as a kid? Bruno is my favorite character of this part. This is how it began, eh? Oh this is where he got sticky fingers, freaking popa. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
死んでからでは後悔もできないからなお前もギャングならあいつはた組織のボスが自ら手を染めているわあろうことかこの町で And it's like a fate that he encountered the journal, man. Holy shit. This is so good. Oh, please be careful, bro. You're fucking alone in here. Why, Snub, you betrayed my heart. I can't quite see. No shot, he will notice. Oh, fool, what the fuck? He attached it to his fucking ass. Please be careful, please. And why are others not here? Because of those fucking orders. I fucking love Sticky Fingers' ability. What the fuck? Oh, there is a hole. I thought there was a fresh body inside. Oh my god. It's so dark there. Here he comes. <laughs> oh, my heart is racing, bro. He knows. Does he know? He knows. He fucking knows. He fucking knows. He fucking knows. What is his ability, bro? He was about to break his arm. Oh, nice, zip. This is the breaking point. This is where we betrayed the organization officially. Oh, my God. That was so cool. Let's fucking go. John is on the line. Oh my god, he can give him the position of the boss. Oh no. Oh my god. Green eyes. No fucking way. How? This is similar to Journal Stand and the very first fight between. Oh, fuck! That's his stand! You from several seconds in the past just witness your future self why the fuck do we have another time ability king crimson Oh my god, this is looking bad. There is no way Bruno survives this, bro. He got kakyoined. The mystery of King Crimson. Oh no! Get back to that scene immediately, please! Is there a chance for Bruno, bro? They are not aware of what. 
Jorno won't tell them. Oh, okay, this is before. Fuck the orders, but they don't know. What the fuck happened? Is it lagging? Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? He ate it. Wait a minute. See? Bogo is drinking the water. We didn't even see Jorno giving him water. What the fuck is going on? Is this related to boss's stand? It looks like a cat walked over him. But if they are affected by his stand, what is the fucking range of that? Jesus, bro! It's like he teleported right there! Oh, this is when they made the contact first. They always go for my favorite characters, man. I cannot believe this shit, honestly. Oh my god! He trapped him! Jesus Christ, what is this ability? Why do you have to be so broken? He can see the future, <laughs> oh my god! All time is erased. Wait, so ブロー、ブロー、ブロー、ブロー、ブロー、ブロー、ブロー、ブロー、ブロー、ブロー、ブロー、ブロー、ブロー、ブロー、ブロー、ブロー、ブロー、ブロー、ブロー、ブロー、
Oh, he knows about Jorno. Bro, he's so creepy. He stand his two faces. I'm losing my shit, bro. What the fuck is going to happen? What? He managed to crack him, bro. Even though he has this ability. Fucking bitch, that's Bucerati for you. It wasn't enough though. Oh, oh my god! He predicted his moves. You're not reading ahead of time. Oh, that's so fucking savage. Bro, look at him. His two faces. Fuck the boss, bro. Holy shit. Come on. Please somehow heal him. Yeah, be careful. Bro, my heart is racing so hard. Please no. Please no. <laughs> Please no. <laughs> Please no. He's gone. Oh, 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 こいつの道なる能力。え、はずはないんだ。ジョルノ。俺だ。アバッキを立ち及べ。脱出するんだ。今は声は。アバッキを立ち及ぶ。ロワット。ファック。脱出するんだ。ワット。ファックイズゴン
forward after that erased time. I don't know how to explain it, but what is crazy to me, it seems like he can affect, it doesn't have range, I mean, it probably has range, but he mentioned that clouds would not be aware that they split that fire, would not be aware that it's, it's extinguished. Imagine having a power that can affect the whole world, bro. That would be the craziest stand ever. And I thought that Bruno was dead, bro. They even showed that classic, like, spirit energy, leaving his body zipper disappearing from Trisha's hand. He saw living body and talking to Giorno, and in the next moment he stands up, bro. <laughs> that is the biggest debate I ever saw when it comes to deaths. I'm so glad, bro. There is so many episodes left, bro. I would be so fucking disappointed if they killed off Bruno. But then again, it was Boss and his ability. He ordered only one person to come. And we got a Bruno's backstory, so... Ooh, usually after backstories, we didn't lose anyone. Not Mista, Bakio, Narancia, Fugo. And after Bruno's backstory, I was legit scared. <laughs> because he's at boss's place, man. Crazy stuff. Let's move on, guys. Really crazy two episodes. He needs to explain everything now. How will they take it, though? That we are actually going against organization. Just like those people who are attacking us. Oh, straight up. <gasps> They have to make decisions so suddenly. Wow. ビニダライスウィキントラストカマンディスキーズオフコースアバキオカニハイトリオおおぶつらでぶつらでこうしたんです。ひ、ひ、ひ、ひ、ひ、ひ、ひ、ひ、ひ、ひ、ひ、
Hell yeah. Oh. Come on, boys. Come on. Oh my god. Of course, everyone is gonna go. Come on, Fugo. We will fight them, bro. We can do this. Holy shit. Remember what he said. You're making decision. Oh my god. We are no longer an organization. Just step on the boat. Oh my god. ちょっと、ケムとステイビハイン。わあ。ゆ、リメンバーディスペース。ゾウさんからも。エレ。ゲタ。ゾリストレは何か聞いてる。イェップ。振り返ってください。<笑><笑><笑><笑> Hell yeah, Naranja! <laughs> Damn Trish! Come on, Fugo! Really?君のその勇気に敬意を表します。フーゴの野郎来なかったな。ノーシャット。ノーシャット。フーゴ、フェイスステンド、ブロ、ウィニッド。ウィニッド。ウィニッド。ウィニッド。ウィニッド。ウィニ
his power and his actions really well. It's a very strong stand with the ability to erase certain parts of the future he sees and jumps to the present. That's why Abakio teleported and all that messed up shit happened, which was so confusing at first, but later on we managed to connect that to boss's ability. Bruno's backstory was heartbreaking, man. When he was seven, it seems like everything was going fine, but his mom and dad were not on, in good relationship. I mean, I can't say it. I mean, yeah, there was something lacking, clearly, but they handled it like everyone should do, like proper adults. No drama, no fights, no anything just calmly talking about it and deciding Bruno with uh, who he wants to continue living and uh, he, oh, that touched my heart man when he said I know that my mom is strong she will manage on her own she's strong and he decided to stay with his dad his dad was shocked as well he fully expected Bruno to go with mom because she can provide for him more I guess he was a fisherman and that really touched my heart that he was looking out for his dad. He is such a phenomenal character, man. And the fact that his dad got shot later by those thugs who were smuggling drugs makes perfect sense why he hates drugs so much, man. And when he joined Passione, we saw when he encountered that guy who was selling drugs or he had drugs with him. Bro, what a great storytelling. Bruno's backstory was absolutely amazing, just like everyone's, but for some reason I really enjoyed Bruno's a lot, a lot, man. The fact that they came back and tried to kill his father again, and kid Bruno, man, killed them at that age. He fucking stabbed them, bro. That was brutal. He had to do it. I mean, they would kill his dad, so... But yeah, this fucking Queen Crimson stabs uh, Bruno through the stomach, through the chest, whatever. And I instantly remember Kakyoin's dad because it's fucking the same just from the front. Dio did it from the stomach. And I knew that we just saw his backstory and everything and I was so fucking sad. I thought this is it, there goes Bruno, man, just when we reached the boss. And it really looks like he was dead, but Giorno healed him. And even after that, his soul left his body. And he was talking to him, it was like spirit talking. And the next line he's saying... He's saying from his body and he just stands up, bro. <laughs> that was so fucking weird, but I am glad. And that scene when he stabbed his arm, like, on that fucking whatever it is, uh, it looked like there was no blood and it was just weird, like, Giorno healed him, but he still feels bad. He was holding this part, it's probably hard or I don't know. It looks like he, he's, he still has some issues, but at least he's alive. And that scene, man, when he was explaining to everyone that he betrayed boss, he's no longer their leader. They need to make a decision on their own. They're going to be haunted by boss's elite guards. Uh, Fugo was constantly saying how uh, traitors of organization are screwed man that they are basically already dead and you know what Fugo is a smart dude we know that he's probably the most intelligent one and he made an intelligent choice from his point of view he sees this as inevitable death I don't think that's the case I think they will manage to fuck this boss up but from Fugo's point of view, I can kind of see it. But still, Fugo, come on, man, why? He was such a goated character. I really like his interaction with Naranja and with everyone. He is smart. His stand is fucking nuts, bro. Purple Haze is dope as hell. And he didn't come. Oh my god. I really like how they made all of them at first 
uh, seem like they're not going to join. And with Naranjia, they even made him stay with Ugo. I was like, 2-2 two, two out of 4, 2 out of 4, so... I was kinda upset and damn, Naranja, he remembered his uh, past as well and he was saying uh, that he's the same as Trish, I'm Trish, Trish is me, and he was swimming towards boat, man, <laughs> that really touched my heart, really, really amazing scene. These episodes are out of this world, man, and it's funny because at the beginning of the video I was talking trash about that episode with Melone and Babyface, how I didn't enjoy it, and then we get these fucking goated episodes, man. Holy fuck. So, I guess we are now going to get attacked by even stronger stands. Because the traitors of organization are the traitors, but Boss's elite guard? That sounds different, man, and that sounds more dangerous for sure i'm scared for the boys but also i am full of hope i freaking love that trish stayed with us man that she did not end up dying and we need to see her fucking stand imagine that her stand is counter for her father they're related by blood so oh my god that would be interesting man i really want to see trish pop off really really great episode guys i really enjoyed them uh, i hope that you enjoyed my reactions if you did please consider subscribing leave a like comment all that good stuff as always check out my patreon page if you want to see full and early reactions the link is in description i will be seeing you very soon with another video until then, take care and have a nice day, guys. See ya.